Welcome to the Creative Puxa. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a magazine cover in Affinity Photo. This cover will be for a fashion magazine. First, go to File New. Go to Print and select the A4 document size. This is one of the standard print sizes used for magazines, which is 8.5 inches by 11 inches. The other size commonly used is 5.5 inches by 8.5 inches. Change the document units to inches and set the DPI to 300. Next, go to File Open and select the image you downloaded. It'll open in a new tab. Let's make some edits to this photo before we use it for the magazine. Go to the Layers panel and click the Adjustments icon. Select the Curves Adjustment. Click the point on the left and move it to the right until it meets the beginning of the graph. Then slide the point slightly up. Now click and add a point in the middle, then drag it up some. After that, select the point on the right and slide it slightly to the left. Now click the Adjustments icon in the Layers panel. Select the Recolor Adjustment. Set the Hue to 200, Saturation is 62%, and the Lightness to negative 10%. Change the Blend Mode to Glow. Once you've done that, click the Blend Ranges icon beside the Blend Mode. Select the point on the left in the underlying composition ranges and drag it down slightly above the second line. Then slide the point to the right, the way you see it on the screen. Next, click and add a point on the line and drag it down some. Now, click and add a point on the curve and drag it down to the same area you see on the screen. After that, click the point on the right and drag it down slightly below the first line. Select the two adjustment layers in the background layer. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to merge the three layers together. Now select the Merge layer. Copy the layer and paste it onto the magazine document. Next, turn on Snapping in the toolbar. Then go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Now take the Move tool and resize the image the way you see it on the screen. Center the image on the document. With the Merge layer selected, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the image. Turn the original image off and label it Original. Select the duplicated layer. Now grab the end painting tool from the tools panel. Take the tool and remove the piece of hair that's sticking up on the lady's head. Now press Ctrl and R to activate the rulers, or go to the view menu and check show rulers. Then take the move tool and grab a guideline from the left side and place it around the 0.3 inch mark. Next, grab another guideline from the left side. This time, place it on the first tick after the 8. After that, take the Move tool and drag a guideline from the top and place it 0.3 inches horizontally. You may have to turn off snapping. Next, grab one more guideline from the top and place it 3 ticks above the 11. Once you've done that, go to the View menu and select Lock Guides. Turn snapping back on. Grab the Artistic Text tool from the Tools panel. Type the word VISIONARY in all caps. Select the text and go to the font family and change the font to the Audrey Bold. You can find the download link to this font in the description of the video. Place the text at the top beneath the guideline and center it. With the text still selected, go to the swatches panel. Double click on the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Then enter the following hex code number, 0E17B6. Now grab the Artistic Text tool again. Take the tool and click on the right side of the cover. Type Top 10. Select the text and go to the font family. Set the text to Die Dot Regular. You can find the download link in the description. Now select the word Top. Go to the Swatches panel and double click on the fill color. Set the text to the following hex code number, E66B0E. Next, select the 10, then change its color to the following hex code number, 19EAE3. With the text layer still selected, grab the Move tool. Next, press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text below the original one. Now, type the word SHOCKING and set the text to the same color as the number 10, which is 19EAE3. 
Set the size of this text to 45 points. Next, grab the Move tool again. Select the text layer. Then press Ctrl and J three times to duplicate the text layer. Take the Move tool and drag two of the duplicated layers beneath the first duplicated text layer. Now, select these three text layers and change the color to the same color as the word top, which is E66B0E. In the first duplicated layer, type the word spring. Next, type the word fashion in the second duplicated layer. And type the word looks in the third text layer. Set the size of the other four layers to 37 points. Select all five of the text layers. Then go to the alignment panel. Select the line right and align vertically. Make sure the text doesn't go past the guideline. We'll do these steps again to write the rest of the text onto the cover. Take the Move tool. Select one of the text layers. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the text to the left side of the magazine. Type the name Joan Lee and set the color to the turquoise looking color we previously used. Now take the Move tool and select the three orange text layers on the right. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of the layers to the left side of the cover. Select the first text layer and type Exclusive Interview. On the second text layer, type With the Model. Then on the third text layer, type Turn Designer. Make sure these three layers are smaller than the Joan Lee text layer. I set the text to 23 points. Select all four of the text layers. Go to the Alignment panel. Select the line left and align vertically. Now select the three orange text layers on the left with the Move tool. Press Ctrl and Shift and drag a copy of these layers to the area that you see on the screen. Next, select the first text layer and type How to Dress for Spring. Select the second text layer and type Shorts. Then select the third text layer and type Dresses. With the third text layer selected, press Ctrl and J two times. Place the two duplicated layers beneath the original text layer the way you see it on the screen. Now select the first duplicated layer and type Accessories. Then select the second duplicated text layer and type AND with the ampersand and more. After that, select the four text layers beneath the How to Dress for Spring text. Indent these layers so that they're beneath the letter O in How. With the layer still selected, go to the swatches panel and set the color of the text to the turquoise color. Now select all five of the text layers. Then go to the alignment panel and select the line vertically. Select one of the text layers. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the layer. Place the duplicated layer where you see it on the screen. Type 15 trendsetters you should know about. Select the number 15 and set the color to the turquoise color. Center this text layer on the magazine the way you see it on the screen. Now let's add the barcode. Go to File Open and click the barcode image and drag it onto the document. Take the Move tool and resize the barcode. Place it in the same area you see it on the screen. Now go to View and uncheck the Lock Guides and uncheck Show Guides. Select the background picture in the Layers panel. Now click the Adjustments icon and select the Brightness and Contrast Adjustment. Set the Brightness to 15% and the Contrast to negative 5%. In the Layers panel, unlock the background picture. Then take the Move tool and select everything. Press Ctrl, Alt, Shift, and E to merge the layers together. Turn the other layers off. Go to the mock-up link in the description of the video. Scroll down and click the download button. Once the file downloads, go to the file. Right-click on the folder and select Extract All to extract the file. Then go to the extracted folder and open the magazine mock-up folder. Next, open the magazine with flowers mock-up file in Affinity Photo. Turn off the layer at the top. Next, open up the magazine group. Double click on the Your Image Here layer. It'll open in a new tab. Next, go back to the magazine cover you created. Select the Merge layer and copy it. Then paste it onto the Embedded tab. 
grab the move tool, go to the transform panel and turn on the lock aspect ratio if it isn't turned on. Then take the move tool and resize the cover to fit the document. After that, delete the other two layers in the layers panel and close the tab. Now select the light effects group. Turn off snapping in the toolbar. Then take the move tool and resize the light effect group so that it's covering the magazine. You can decide whether or not you want to use the light effects group. I decided not to use the group. And this is how to create a magazine cover in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching. Thank you.